Go time. Sit up. I think that I would like validation for my gender identity. You don't say. Are you jester gender or something? Or some pictures of me. My pronouns are it and they. <coughs> my gender is none. Okay, none. So none as in like you don't have one or none as in <coughs> because what you're showing right now contradicts both of those. You look very much like a girl, and you also look very much like a satanic girl. I enjoy dressing in a more feminine, I guess, way. But I don't want to be associated with gender. So in other words, you want to be a girl, but you still want to identify as marginalized. That's because I'm an attention whore! How much you want to bet this girl loves the new Monster High reboot where they made Frankie non-binary? I enjoy looking like a clown. I really? You don't- you don't say! Because I- I couldn't tell. I kind of view myself as a doll. <laughs> oh! Oh! You view- you view- you view yourself as a doll? A doll? What world are you living in? If you mean that you belong in The Conjuring, yeah, I can agree with that. But a doll? Like, just a, a, a doll? <laughs> I'm not sure a lot of people are gonna agree with you on that one, girl. I don't abide by gender. I'm fucking built different. Athena is the one that literally Jen? got Corey. You didn't say nothing about this. The drag bill taken out. Take it down. Yes. Take it down. Oh my god. Because it's unconstitutional. It's very is that scumbag Steve? It's giving scumbag Steve. Yeah. So, so happy. Insane. So now it's time to go to the other states. Yeah, other states. It's spreading like AIDS. Wow, look at these friends of Dorothy celebrating their free speech. Yeah, this thing right here is what the Founding Fathers had in mind when they gave us the First Amendment. This is why we need obscenity laws. Uh, it was a lot. She sat up there in front of those and said what I know, she that's needed to say. This guy right here, you know, the second he puts on that little wig and those eyelashes, those nail extensions, the second he puts all that on, he looks himself in the mirror, he says, Ooh, I am Regina George and I am killing it. Lady Bunny reposted you. Yes, I was gagged. I was like, what in the world? Lady Bunny knows who I am? So now she we don't know who Lady Bunny is. Yeah, now she do. But is there another one, though? Okay. One that There's a million and a half in Arkansas. Oh, oh. It's, it's ridiculous. They're always up with something new. Oh, guys, the Bogdanov twins died. And so they, they retrieved all the silicone, all the plastic from their faces and put it into this dude right here. And it is funny as hell. <laughs> Every day we wake up with something. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Some crazy white man's putting something up. <laughs> I mean, you're. Oh, uh, yep. The crazy white men are at it again. <laughs> well done. <laughs> Thank That's you. That's insane. We're so happy to have you. Thank you. I'm so excited to be here. And guess whose fault it is? The cishet white men. No one is saying that by inviting black audiences here, you were uninvited. On Broadway, there were nights where tickets were only sold to people who identified as black. Are you gonna do that in the West End? I'm so excited to, yeah. People who identify as black. People who identify as black. Let's not encourage the RCTA community, please. You are. Yeah, I mean, I think that one of the things that we have to remember is that um, people have to be radically invited into a space to know that they belong there. And in most of our country, in most places in the West, uh, poor people and black people have been told that they do not belong inside of the theater. Okay, I, 
I just a question, you know, have you ever actually been in a movie theater where the audience is just teenagers? Teens bum rush a movie theater in Florida when they find out they are not allowed to see the racy Fifty Shades of Grey. This was Valentine's night. Like 100% teenagers. Police in Rock Hill now looking for anyone else who was part of the party, saying people should be able to go to the movies in peace. In America, Jim Crow existed to literally tell them that they could not sit in the same theater as white people. A movie goer enriched at a movie theater for reportedly asking someone to move from his assigned seat. And so for me, as someone who wants and yearns for black and brown people to be in the theater. There was a argy bargy between teens in the lobby, and that was caught on camera. <laughs> a celebration at AMC Rockford 16 last Friday leads people running for the exit. Who comes from a working class environment and so wants like people who do not make, you know, over six figures a year to feel like theater is a place for them. It is a necessity to radically invite them in with rant, with with initiatives that say, that say you're invited, specifically you. All right. Lil homie, you are correlating race with wealth. And I don't know, but that's kind of contradicting the message you want to send here because uh, people might want to look into why that is. Yes, science! And if the price of that is saying to people who are just because they're white, you can't come, you're not allowed in this space, does that make you uncomfortable? Well, no one's saying, listen, uh, there, there are a litany of places in our country, in all of our countries, that are generally... Um, inhabited by only white people and no one uh has questions about that i think a lot of us have the same question about that what's up lenda carioca parece um lápis o que que tá acontecendo mas ó ele parece um lápis com cara do grinch e orelha de pluto por que que ele tem orelha de pluto Não consigo nem falar. O Pluto, aquele, o cachorrinho. Tá aqui ocupando espaços múltiplos e diversos. Fala tanto comigo sobre fazer drag em espaços que também... Eu tenho ideia. Você gosta de fazer drag em espaços, né? Então vai pro espaço. Ninguém tem que te ver mais. Já parece uma alienígena mesmo? Cara, você parece vilão do Jaspion. <risos> Não sei se você tá vestido de lápis, ou, ou abelha, ou bolsa do Louis Vuitton. Eu tenho ice. Você tem? Mano, eu tenho também. Eu tenho ice. Você tem? Mano, eu tenho também. Eu tenho ice. Você tem? Ele não tem! <risos> Mano, você acha que você tá parecendo princesa? Mas você tá parecendo uma bruxa. Você parece que um jacaré te mastigou e aí te vomitou. São múltiplos e também são diversos. Aqui no Rio você sempre vai encontrar as melhores drag queens. Sempre trabalhadas num pouquinho da neurose, da loucura. Essa é a característica das drag queens cariocas. Não vai dar pra negar, porque uh -uh. nenhuma das... Ó, oh, até ele sabe. Vocês são malucos. Gente, Brasil é futebol, samba e carnaval. Olha a cabeleira do Zezé. Será que ele é? Será que ele é? <risos> Eles estão tentando pegar problema do norte e botar no sul. Não é assim que se faz. Evidence of people who were transgender in ancient Greece, Rome, Judaism. What? I have a fun fact for you guys, okay? Transgenderism didn't exist in ancient Greece. Why? Because there were no iPad kids in ancient Greece. Guess what? There was no Roblox. There was no Gacha Life. There was no Danganronpa. There was no My Hero Academia. And there was no My Story Animated. None of it is an example of a religion that acknowledges six or seven genders. 
I don't think that's quite true. My evidence for that would be in the, in the very first book of the Torah in Genesis. One of the most prominent lines is that in the beginning, God created man, both male and female created he them. It's not the, but, but. What you're citing is this line that a lot of people who are pro-transgender will say, which is, you know, actually in some Native American tribe that I can't quite name right now, uh, I'm sure they believe in a third and a fourth and a fifth gender, but that just isn't true. That's been made up by white Okay, so what he's talking about right here is the story that yeah white liberals will tell that in native american tribes if a boy is born more flamboyant they would praise that and they would put him at a position of high authority to grow up to be the chief because this was so rare and so accepted that's a lie and anyone who believes that is a do you really think that a people that has to chase buffalo across the prairie and hunt every day to survive have time to think about gender? Like, no. And a, a chief, a person that's supposed to lead all of them, is, is gonna be a guy that's like, serving office, serving lunch break, serving, serving nine to five. five. Yeah, that'd be the chief of the tribe, all right. You know the movie Mulan, Disney? Disney Mulan? I haven't seen it, but I've All heard right. of it. Mulan, yeah. dresses as a man, right? Goes to war. That's based off of true history. Oh, yes. Cro cross-dressing has Not occurred in history. just cross-dressing, but people who in went... In Mulan, did, did the female character think she was a man? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Super hot fire sh pooping in his pants right now. <laughs> what? Oh. What if you guys just threw this at me? Oh! Oh, sh**! Why would you guys just throw something? Yo, he's just a mannequin. He's just a mannequin. Well, you know, for once they're right. It was the white man's fault. Okay, let's... Uh, okay. I can't find the price on this. How much is it? Uh, regular $4.99, but uh, this week we have a discount only for the... Uh... What you eat? Come again. Uh, you eat uh, what kind? There's a dark man who wants to make us cry. He wants to teach us morals, but we know he's full of lies. Oh, don't let your children watch him. Don't let your children watch him. Don't let your children near him. He's a gender. I'm a drag queen. Oh, you eat a man who dressed like a girl. A woman? Yeah, why? Why you do like this? Oh. Um. I don't know. Okay, so here we learn that Darman knows absolutely nothing about drag queens because he thinks that they're the same as trans people. Me. Feel like home. Oh. All the feels like me. Who's that? I'm Therese. I'm a Mr. Q. <laughs> I think I'll just pick up a few more things. Okay. Mm. Now, could this Asian storekeeper be any more stereotypical? It could only be more stereotypical if the drag queen was black and he was, um, following it around saying, Hurry up and bye! Hurry up and bye! Man, Asians used to be based, but like, come on. Remember Korean rooftop guys? We're all just inundated from the moment we're born. Some people even have parties before that <laughs> about- Oh, the gender reveals. Exactly, like how, how you should be, how you should look, what success means, like all of those things. We're all facing, all facing those pressures. Trans joy. All right, so we got actress Ellen Page who decided to be Elliot Page because we are complaining about the pressures of the world and everybody just wanting her to be a certain thing. You know, an actress who decided to put herself in front of everyone. Hey, I'm so excited to be on a date. <laughs> um, I'm kind of nervous, you see. I was wondering if 
<laughs> you would be my senpai? <laughs> no. No, man. The Fruits Basket fandom is just tripping over this. I just know it. All right, I know this is supposed to be satire, but I'm pretty sure like 60% of my generation got their social skills from anime. No, ugh, I'm such a baka. Do you mind if I get ox? <laughs> On today's episode of Is It a Microaggression or Is a White Lady Just Being Nice? A coworker says to me, you're running this meeting very well. Mind you, the person who was supposed to run the meeting didn't come. So it could have just been a nice compliment. What do y'all think? Okay, three things. Impact, intent, precision. Would she have felt compelled to say the same thing to a straight white male? We don't know because we can't get Okay, it is nighttime and you're still worried about the compliment that you got from this white lady. And you're still thinking about whether it might be a microaggression or not. Would you still be thinking that if it were a black lady? I'm just wondering. That's her intent. Did I feel offended? No, I didn't. But that doesn't mean other people wouldn't be. So I think it's both. And that's why it's important to be explicit with your language. What? Do you just expect us to like lightly, gracefully tiptoe on quail egg shells or something? Because we, we can't say anything. We can't even say good morning because that's racist. I just know there is gonna be a new article in the New York Times and it's gonna be like, do compliments have a racism problem? What? <laughs> she really said Pixar mom. I think it's less the fact that you're a Latina and it's more the fact that you're built like the number eight. <laughs> Mira, yo no creo que ser latina es el problema. Tal vez otra cosita, no sé. Sis, you got those girls in the back switching teams on you. Yeah, pretty. That's why they're looking at you. I just have one question. How many seats did you occupy on your plane to Europe? Bill discovered auto tune. <laughs> okay, now I appreciate the value of that video. That was very funny. This is quite possibly the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life. You are reporting that someone stole the drugs that you were trying to sell them. Error code 404, sense and reasoning not found. Sir, I'm broke. I'm just trying to make a little bit At of what money. point does this make any what? sense? <laughs> oh. At what point? It doesn't make any sense. At what point do you think telling the cops that someone I'm stole- being I'm being honest. He's theory. not being honest. Where's what he- Are there in this car? No, no there, there isn't. There's nothing in my car. There isn't. Scary. There is Chick here. <laughs> what is going on? Four six nine. At what point do you narc on yourself to the cops? By the way, when you see people with those Hello Kitty profile pictures that say A C A B, it's normally people like that. I wonder why they want to defund the police. Okay, so back when Uncle Colin was alive, we used to talk about this thing called Seattle Drill. It goes like this. Step one, defund the police. All cops are b Step two, whoa, why, why is everything burning down? Why is, why the fire? Step three, where are all the cops when you need them? I have a team of 21 right now uh, for Validate. It's a pretty big team. It's a crazy big team for indie games, but who is your team? Validate has a team of mostly people, mostly all people of color. We have no white people on our team. Um, I did that because I wanted to create a safe environment. And I know the best way for an environment to be safe is to be around people who are just like me. Um, but if a white person were to say that, oh boy.
the hell they would face for saying something like that. And I'm not saying that white people in the industry are creating safe, unsafe environments. Yes, you are. I'm not saying that. Not what I'm saying. Mm, yeah, it is. I am saying that sometimes it is hard to work with white people because they think that something may be okay, but it was really a microaggression. But the things that you think are microaggressions are just simple greetings that everybody uses. Excuse me, uh, which way to the bathroom? Microaggression! And no one wants to deal with that while they're trying to make a game that they love. I wonder how many people actually play their games. <laughs> oh, nah. Not vegan. Not the vegan teacher, come on. Really? Eating animals is wrong, McDonald's. Seriously, this lady is built like a starved newborn pelican. You just know that she's brittle boned. Yes, that's exactly right. Vegans are better than God. It no, the hell they're not. You were always narcissistic, but I didn't know you were Luciferian too. It's just a fact. Look, we have two hands. Okay, I just noticed something. I'm taking it off. I'm taking it off. Ugh. Be gone. I rebuke that. That's right. We can choose what to do. Three times a day, we can choose compassion or cruelty. Three times a day, we choose not to eat animals, not to steal from them. We choose to be kind. Meanwhile, God is doing all, absolutely nothing. Excuse me? We don't know if God is drunk, stoned, asleep, watching and eating popcorn it's hilarious with all of the wars that go on or maybe god is just dead we don't know but it's funny how you bring up being stoned because what the hell are you on the fact that making a video like this even crosses your brain if you even have one just looking at you i can tell it's not god that's dead it's your soul and your body doesn't look like it's doing too great either. The good news is that we have two hands in which to do good in the world. So every day, you can choose to be kind and compassionate instead of cruel. Here's the thing. Us humans are not kind. We are not compassionate and we are not good. We're sinners and there's a way to salvation. And the only way to salvation is the one thing that you're bad-mouthing right now. Read John 3.16. You know, I never really researched, but I want an early life check on this lady because, come on. Oy vey. Look, if we had designed the planet, we would never have designed lions. Zebras, that's just mean. They don't even want to hurt them, but they have no choice. But we have... I don't think that they really care about your vegan ideology, Miss Katie. These lions are just over here thinking, zebra tasty dinner, yum, yum, yum. Moral agency, we can choose kindness. So we choose tofu, beans, lentils, and rice, and you too can be nice. I get it now. And if I eat all that, I'll be just as big and strong as you. A steak a day keeps the vegan teacher away. Oh my gosh, you guys made it through this insanity! Congratulations! Make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe. Remember boys, be fruitful and multiply, and don't be fruity and kiss the guy. Bye! Peace out.